In December 2021, there was a medevac Learjet approaching Gillespie Airport, Kilo, Sierra, Echo, Echo in San Diego, California to land. They came in using the runway 17 RNAV approach with a circle to land to runway 27 right. They had some really challenging weather conditions. It looked to the crew that they could do that approach and they could come down and circle and land. It was night, maybe a little drizzle, hard to see, not the best visibility. Regretfully, they never made it to the runway. So we're gonna take you up today and we're gonna show you that RNAV 17 approach with a circle to land. Now the advantage we have is the weather is beautiful. So we don't have the same challenges that that Learjet crew had that night. So this isn't a reflection of something that they should have done differently or that they made errors. We'll let the NTSB and other people to make that decision. What we're gonna do is show you that circle of land. Now since December 2021 in that accident, the FAA reviewed that RNAV 17 approach. And for category C aircraft, so those are the ones that are flying a faster approach speeds, they raised the circling minimums. And you don't, we don't know the FAA's logic behind that. Well, we could probably assume they said, hey, you're coming in on a faster plane, you need higher minimums before you're going to uh, do that approach. So the ceiling is much higher than it was previously or with slower aircraft. We're going to do it at a slower speed. We're going to do this approach right at 120 or 119, somewhere around there, so that we can be in category B. So it makes it a little bit easier for us because the radius has changed. But it's a real challenge. This is our local airport area, and we fly into Gillespie frequently. And just to the north of that runway complex, there is a mountain we call Snake Mountain. And frequently when you're coming around, you get train, 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 if you have a train warning system, and you're pretty close to that. So we can only imagine what that crew is thinking when they did that approach late at night, and inadvertently, they ended up uh, crashing short of that runway. So come fly with us. We're gonna do at least give you an idea of how that approach looks from the aircraft. And uh, hopefully you'll, you'll enjoy the video. And again, uh, our condolences to the crew and the passengers on that flight. They're awesome professional pilots and crew. And um, we regret that accident happened, but we're gonna go show you about circling the land. Oh, one more thing before I forget. Some people say, oh, circling land approaches are dangerous. And they are, they do have a higher accident rate, especially at night, but they can be done safely. I've done a large number of circle and land uh, approaches in various uh, weather conditions, including uh, an instrument approach where I had to do circle land a number of times, and they're not my favorite, and I like to avoid them, but it's important to make sure that you train to do those properly, because you can never know, you might have no choice but to do a circle to land. So don't shirk on your training, don't shirk on your recurrence, Go up with an instructor and make sure you're proficient in the circle of land. Thanks. Enjoy our watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel down below and, and uh, you'll be advised of our next videos. Thanks. Hey, Tigre here. We had intended to fly the RNAV 17 approach into Gillespie, which is what the Learjet crew flew that night. But due to the air show at Miramar, we were unable to, due to TFRs blocking access for that approach because it was basically in the path of the Blue Angels and Blue Angels rule. So we ended up doing a modified localizer delta, which usually does end in a circle of land. So this is us flying out East County over San Diego and vectoring in for the localizer delta approach. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm good. Oh, navigation 4,000 above. Three zero zero. I'd like to get a passenger in the plane. Maintain 8,000 in contact. Approach 127.3. Have a good one. 8,000, 127.3. Good day. They did a, an amazing job. Especially after all the time I spent in the CJs. 24 Delta Delta. Maintain 6,000. 
This is Snake Mountain. I thought it was Rattlesnake Mountain. Rattlesnake. I think it's Rattlesnake Mountain. Could be wrong. Six zero back contact SoCal departure. SoCal six zero. Trying to be nice to all snakes. November zero November echo maintain under above two thousand five hundred. Trying to be right. We're capturing two thousand five hundred zero November echo. That was my mistake. Oh, the drag. November zero. We're gonna do a circle. Whenever you're able to, you can start your circle south for left downwind to runway 27 right. That uh, Cub is about uh, two miles south, south west of the field. Roger, looking for the traffic, and we'll start our turn in just a moment, Zero November Echo. Zero November, November Echo, Roger and I will call your uh, descent. Roger, you'll call, the call your descent, we'll stay up here at 2500, Zero November Echo. Good afternoon, Velasco Tower, Dakota, 
Loveland for landing and with Sierra. Over 201 Bravo Lima, Glitch Tower, straight in runway 27 left, report uh, 5 mile final. 27 left, yes. Bravo Lima. See that, so they came along in the Learjet at night, a lot lower than this. They crashed almost right below where we're about to pass over. Thankfully they didn't hit anyone, because there's tons of houses around here. So tell them we're going to park in circle. Two seven left, runway 27 left, clear to land. Okay, runway 27 left now, oh, clear to land. Got and I'm going to just continue on my There's people we're talking about. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to circle zero, zero November Echo. Roger. Columbia Tower, Cessna 123 Tango Tango, holding short 27 right request uh, takeoff for straight out departure. Uh, one, two, three, tango, tango, go left tower, hold short, runway two, seven, right, you're number two for departure. Hold short, two, seven, right, three, tango, tango. It's tower three, six, November, again, I'm familiar with the airport, looks like uh, the, uh, the uh, airfield is right on my uh, right side. Affirmative. Two, keep it rolling, taxi via Charlie, cross runway one, seven, and you can utilize Charlie or Bravo to a circle. I do have a traffic inbound for a banner drop. Keeping it rolling, crossing 17 and heading via Charlie or Bravo to circle 0 November. Go. That's going to be landing. Keep rolling on Charlie. Keep for rolling. Well. I will. I got the site. We'll, we'll go 0 November. Go. That's where they do the banner. Right? right here. Banner drop yeah, and the pickup. Uh, tower 36 November. Just, just there landing. landing. Clear for landing. What's that runway uh, number? Landing fee? Yeah. No. Okay. If not, I'll take care of it easier. November 3, 6 November, you can uh, start your turn to final, there's traffic off your right, is a uh, Cherokee there for 27 left, make straight clear in runway 27 left, right. number 2, clear to land. 3, 6 November, 27 left, number 1, 27 left. You're going to be number 2. 3, 6 November, looking for traffic, number 2 for 27 left, inbound, I'm on final approach. Thank you. I'm on final 27 approach also, so uh, it's in uh, 300 Hotel Victor. Remember, zero Hotel Victor, that traffic is behind you about a mile, spacing's fine. Roger. 